Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Okay, in today's video, we are going to be talking about IKEA solid wood items. These are items from IKEA that are made of solid wood. That's that's the title of the video. So that's what it's obviously about. Listen, IKEA is known for particle board, right? They're known for basically what is that? Pressed wood shavings, maybe some glue. It's light, it's cheap. That's what Ikea is known for. It's kind of funny because on their website, their Ikea is known for using real wood. And I'm like, really, are you Ikea? I'm not sure you actually are. I think you're known for particle board. But listen, they have some great options that are made of solid wood. You just have to sift through. And that's what I did. I went through all the materials to find out which ones are made of things like pine, made of things like birch, right? Different types of woods that are actually solid wood and not particle board. Now, it's not necessarily a complete indication of quality, but it's a pretty good idea because particle board and veneers, when they get dented and damaged and things, they can start to wear out a little bit quicker. While real wood, if you dent them, it's real wood throughout the whole thing, right? So you're actually really gonna not see those kind of dings the same way that you would on particle board or things like that. So that's it, let's get going. Okay, first collection from Ikea is going to be the Havasta. Oh, by the way, I should also add, I will not be pronouncing any of the words correctly, okay? But no one cares. Even the people from Sweden, they do not care, okay? This is just, this is fun for them, okay? This is fun to watch English speakers butcher their language. It's fun, they enjoy it, okay? So everybody just calm down. The Havasta. The Havasta is a classic transitional style piece, right? I really like this one. It's not super my style. I would say some things that make it transitional personally are the really that fairly large sort of shaker profile that they have throughout the cabinetry. Kind of known for that. This is a classic piece. I like it for other people. It's not necessarily my own personal style, as I said, but I think it really works for some people, especially ones, you know, if you like a farmhouse style, you like transitional, you like maybe cottage core, right? It's a little bit traditional in some ways. It kind of just, it's not super sleek and modern like some of the other Ikea stuff that they have. So this one, the Havasta, is made of solid pine, which is great because again, if you're gonna have something as substantial as sort of some cabinet trees in a living room, for example, it is nice to have sort of, sort of the look and feel that you're gonna get with real wood. This one, by the way, is the most kind of, it's, it's very DIY friendly. I see a lot of people kind of making built-ins with the Havasta, sort of starting with that and then sort of building out around it, which I think is really cool. Neat little, as I said, a little bit more transitional, very customized comes in the white, comes in the gray, also comes in brown. Really beautiful solid pine. Give this one a go. Okay, next one is going to be the Ivor, Ivar, whatever. This one is also solid pine. So pine is interesting because this one also comes in a pine finish. So you're actually gonna get it with all the knots. Because the thing is with pine, which is I think why some people really shy away from it, is that it does have so many knots that it has a very, very distinct look. And it sort of feels very rustic and very casual often are very sort of, it's, it's very popular in Scandinavian design. You see it a lot in sort of Danish kitchens, uh, very traditional sort of Scandinavian kitchens. You're gonna see lots and lots of pine wood. It's a great look if that's what you're going for. But what I actually really also love about it is that it's raw and unfinished and therefore really easy to paint. And Ikea actually even highlights this on their website about how easy it is to paint. And I love that because rather than finding some vintage dresser or something and painting over it, which, you know, people do and you can also do. If it's, not, if it's vintage and nice, just leave it alone. But, you know, fine if people want to do what they want with their own furniture, fine, fine, fine. But this is really great because you're buying something that is new, that's obviously not some rare vintage find, but it's gonna be completely raw and you can paint it and customize it however you want. This one, just go to Pinterest and type in the Ivar Ikea hack cabinet DIY whatever keywords you want and you will find lots and lots of things. If you're a DIY queen, I would just go nuts with this one because there are so many different things you can do. There's so many different door fronts. You can really have fun with this one. Lots of fun with paint. You're only limited by your own imagination. And since my imagination when it comes to DIYs is very limited. I will not be touching this one. But for you, I say go for it. Lots of opportunities. Have fun with this one. Okay, and next one here is the Naglig. Naglig. Lots of Gs there, Ikea. Okay, so this one, cute little box, solid pine, very similar. You, I guess, could probably paint this as well. But yeah, just a simple storage unit. Perfect for the other two cabinet systems that I just mentioned. So a lot of Ikea's boxes are plastic. A lot of them, they got cute little woven baskets and things like that. But I think this is really great if you're looking for sort of a storage box, but you want that look and feel that you get from solid because a lot of the other ones are wood effect or plastic. Okay, next up, similar line here, not gonna spend a ton of time on it, is the Risatorp because it's a basket and we all know what baskets do, okay? So it's a metal basket, but it's got the beach sort of rod 
uh, thingy there. So again, you know, a little cute little handle that you've got in solid wood, so that's nice. Okay, next up is the Trofast. The Trofast is solid pine. Now, it does have a particle board option. That's one thing to know in this list. A lot of these are solid wood, but also always check the materials because I can't guarantee you that everything in the piece is necessarily gonna be solid wood. Some of it might be solid wood and mixed in with some particle board or plastic or things like that. And also different colors in the collection it might be different materials. So it is solid pine in the wood version, but then if you look at the white version, it's not going to be, right? So you gotta be kind of careful with that one. Again, there's nothing wrong with the white option. I'm just letting you know. So the Trofast, this comes with lots of different colorful bins. I see this used a lot of times in kids' rooms. Kind of got this little tray system that you sort of pull out and you kind of do your thing on this one. But it comes in pine as well, which means you can, because it's that raw unfinished pine, you can paint it as well. Pine is very, very popular for people having fun in painting. Again, lots of DIYs have fun with this one, but even if you just want to keep the raw pine, you got lots of different options for colorful storage bins there in the plastic. So you can go have fun with that too. Again, I see it a lot in kids' rooms or even like a sewing room or something like that, right? Anything that you're looking for where you want to keep yourself organized with lots of Legos or yarn or I don't know what people's hobbies are, but I don't know you. Just throw whatever you want in that thing. You know what I mean? Okay, next up is going to be the Vilto. Now the Vilto is solid birch. This is another open storage option. So this is really good if you're looking to sort of have some things that you want to style. Cute in a bathroom. Really makes a lot of sense there, but you could also put it in a living room, I guess. Beaches are really like, it's a lighter wood. So this is not going to, I think it's not gonna have as many knots as pine. Personally, in a raw wood, I prefer this as a great option, I think. I think this wood species is just a little bit nicer and a little bit more my style. It's very light, it's very creamy, it's, but it doesn't have as many knots. So you're not gonna sort of get that sort of rustic element sort of that you kind of get with pine sometimes. By the way, this also comes in the ladder, but it also comes in a cute little stool as well. So same name, just, you know, different product. Ikea does it sometimes, it's very confusing. Okay, next up is the Panget. Panget is really great storage, front hall, front hall closet storage option. So your jackets, your shoes, your boots, your scarves, your, you know, all the winter essentials. So here's what I've noticed, because I do roast my space sometimes on my channel, which you guys love. Please sending in, by the way. Uh, roast my space at nicklewis.ca. Send in your spaces. I will do another one soon. And this is where you guys send me photos of your ugly place. I mean, lovely places. And then, uh, he -he. and then I go in and I like make some changes and say like, maybe what you could change or make a little bit different or whatever. And one of the things I notice is that you guys oftentimes don't have a lot of front hall closet space. I think it's a real luxury. It's It feels like a lot of modern homes will have sort of a dedicated space for people to put their coats and their shoes and things. A lot of times, especially something like a basement suite or some older apartments, or even some older houses, quite frankly, just do not have enough space for people to put their coats and their jackets and things. They just don't have a front hall closet. And so, you know, those systems, like a Boaxel system, which I also have in my closet, are lovely and amazing. I did a video on that like 17 years ago, if you want to check that out. But, you know, those systems are great, but those are different storage systems that don't make sense, I think, for people that just don't have a closet at all. This system works really well. So this one comes in solid pine. There's a gray option and a white option as well, but at least you know you're getting a solid wood option for a front hall. Perfect little storage unit for you if that's how you so choose. There's two different styles too, by the way, for you to check out. Okay, now let's move on and talk about the kitchen. Okay, next up is the pin torp. Now this comes in, it's a solid pine table again. This also comes in a table or sort of a Gatling table, which, which is one of the ones that kind of fold out, you know what I'm talking about when you want to create extra storage. Love that for a smaller space. If you're in something, you know, one, I lived in a 500 square foot apartment once, did not have a lot of space to put a full dining table. So something like this is really cute because you can push it up against the wall and you can flip it out when you need it for kind of extra extra seating, uh, extra space on your dining table. So this is another lovely, lovely option for you. So the tabletop and the under are also both actually solid pine, which is cool. I didn't actually realize that. I thought the, usually Ikea will sometimes do the tabletop in a solid and then they'll do the under in something a little bit different, like a particle board or something like that to basically save on cost and also to make it a lot lighter. But no, they went for solid pine all around on this one. So there you go. Okay, next up is the Norden. Now the Norden is a similar table, except the Pintorp also had some colored options, which is kind of neat, but this one is actually going to be made of birch instead of pine. So the other one is made of pine. This one is going to be solid birch. This is cool. I just, I really, I like this one. It feels a little bit more modern. It's going to be a little bit more simple. The other one reads a little bit more kind of classic Scandi or something a little bit more cottage core sort of thing, a little bit more on that sort of level. Well, this one feels a little bit more sleek and modern. Comes in a couple of different uh, finishes here, but the main one is going to be that birch, which I really like. It's just this light, really creamy color. Very nice. Okay, next up is going to be the Vecvam. This is a cute little store 
tool that you can use. This one is made of aspen. That is a wood that we have not seen so far. So it's made of solid aspen. This is a beautiful, it's actually a series of things, by the way. So there is a cute little stool, but there's also these really interesting sort of spice shelves, which are really neat. You don't have to use them for spices. I imagine people get creative and use them for craft supplies or kids things, or, you know, you just go crazy. But like, it's a cute little shelving unit that you can use that again, like there's a lot of these shelving units that are sort of floating shelves from Ikea, but most of them are gonna be veneered or maybe even a wood effect, which the difference between there is wood veneer just means you actually have a solid sort of very, very thin layer of wood while an effect is just a print that makes it look like it's wood, but it's not wood at all and nothing about it is real wood. Well, solid wood is actual real wood and that's what we're talking about here. So this one is solid Aspen, which is quite rare for Ikea. Most of us, I said of their shelves are either gonna be the veneer or the effect. So love that about that. And it also in the same collection, again, they give the same name, but they give it for multiple different types, but they're all sort of in the same design language. And that is also gonna be this cute little utility cart that you can have, a little kitchen cart that you might be interested in, it comes on little wheels there. And it's also very cute too. In the same vein of a kitchen cart is gonna be the, oh gosh, there's too many umlauts. Guys, settle down with the umlaut. The forhoja, the forhoja, forhoja is a, the, no, that's the J. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. And this one is solid birch, cute little thing. It also comes in a birch and cream option. This one is gonna be quite similar to the last one, except it again reads a little bit more kind of country cottagey than the other one does, in my personal opinion. Okay, and then the next up here is the Nakanas. That's a fun one, the Nakanas. And this one is solid acacia wood. Now this is a dining table set. There is dining chairs, dining table. Acacia is a really beautiful wood. There's a lot of mixing sort of tones in the acacia wood. So this one I think is, usually I see this a lot in outdoor, kind of interesting to see it in the kitchen to be honest, but it is a beautiful wood option. I think all wood in its own natural way is gorgeous, but just it might not necessarily super fit into your style. With this one, because it's a little bit different, you might not be as familiar with it as you might with something like birch or pine, which I think people are more clear on what the, those, the wood species looks like. This one might be a little bit different. So you might wanna just check it out in person if you have an Ikea close by to you before I'm gonna be checking it out online. It is really cool. I love the dining chairs. I really love the shape of them. The wood, you can really see it in the dining table. You can really see the wood grain, I think a little bit better than you can in the dining chair. So keep that in mind if you're going to make a purchase. You can also choose the chairs and just choose a different table. That also works too, right? There's no rule that you have to have everything all in one set. But the Nakanas is beautiful and it is a interesting wood species that you don't see all the time from Ikea. Okay, next up, let's move on to the living room and we're gonna start here with the Arkelstorp. Now the Arkelstorp is a really cool sort of coffee table here. Now this one is solid pine, it comes in also there's a black sort of base and you've got the pine on the top. So, you know, different options there to work out. As well, you can go with one I think that is just the solid pine. Now it's mostly solid pine, but again, this is where the devil's in the details here. You have to go to the materials tab. I encourage you to do so and really look into it. Some of it's gonna be particle board, some of it's gonna be pine. For the most part though, this is a solid pine table. I think this one's kind of cute. I don't know if I would necessarily choose this one personally, but it does come with a solid pine on top. And usually when I see pine from Ikea, my first instinct is to go, okay, well, if there's a completely pine option, can I paint it? Most of the time you can. Pine is usually really easy to paint, which is great from Ikea. So you can also stain it, right? You can also stain it in a different color if you want something a little bit different. So stain or paint might be your friend there. So, you know, when looking at this, I think it's a cute coffee table. I'm sure there's lots of things and DIYs online that can tell you if you want to paint this and make it a little bit more different. That's what I kind of like is that, especially when dealing with tables and chairs and dressers and things, it's so easy for you just to paint them that I I would almost view the pine wood sometimes as a starting point rather than an end game. Okay, next up is going to be the purse ball. Okay, this is probably, listen up, this is probably my favorite item of the whole thing. This is one of my favorite items. In fact, when I did my top 10 Ikea items last year, which was my ultimate sort of top 10 that I personally love. Maybe the purse ball might've actually made the list to be honest, because I really love, love, love this one. This works in a lot of different styles. It works in Scandi, works with Modern Organic, Japan D, farmhouse, lots of different styles. Okay, like a lot of basically transitional styles I think would work really well with this piece. Just got this really gorgeous lounge chair. It just has a really beautiful shape. It's got the spindles in the back, which are lovely. And this one also is made of solid wood. So not only is the style really great, but also the furniture piece itself is lovely. It comes in natural. It also comes in black and it comes in red. I really like it in the natural. I also love it in the black. And hey, if you're feeling funky, go for the red as well. Now, the thing is this one is I've put it in as the solid wood, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a little 
bit. Like the, the bottom frame is solid birch, but some of the other pieces are birch veneer. So what Ikea, up to their usual tricks, right? They've basically made it so that it all kind of definitely looks and feels like birch, but you're gonna get some of the cost savings that you're gonna get because some of it is veneered, some of it is solid. So definitely look into it, have a feel, make sure you're happy with the quality before you take it home. It's a beautiful style. I really like the birch wood. I think it's a beautiful chair, but you know, is the whole thing completely solid wood? Not at this price point, but I do think that there is some solid wood here, some veneers, and it is still gorgeous. So definitely worth a pick, although the whole thing itself isn't completely solid wood. Okay, next up is the Akana set. Now the Akana set is a beautiful solid wood piece. This was also one of my favorites. I think may have even made that top 10. I really love this one. This is a sort of classic mid-century shape, right, that you see, but this is again gonna be at a much more accessible price point than, you know, I've seen some beautiful ones at West Elm and Article, but they're gonna be a lot more expensive than this one. The Akana set is beautiful, and this is a solid wood option as well. Unlike the last one, this one I think has more of its pieces are gonna be solid wood. The back and the seat frame are going to be solid wood. So so that's a really great uh, option there. And this is a beautiful, beautiful chair that also happens to be solid wood. So a great option. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to the bedroom here and talk about the Bjorksnass. The Bjorksnass is another one of my favorites. And this one is solid birch. Now this collection, yes, you can paint it. Yeah, you can paint it. Of course you can. You do what you want. It's your home. But I would still say that in my personal opinion, I just really love this wood species on its own. I really love birch. I just think it's really light and creamy and lovely and scandy and it's just a really lovely little color. Now, pine is a little bit more yellow and it's got all those knots, so it just feels a little bit more rustic, which isn't my own personal taste. You may love pine and disagree, and that is totally fine. The world is great because we're allowed to disagree. But the Bjorksnass, in my opinion, is just beautiful. I love this light, creamy wood. I love the shape of it. It's got these cute little leather handles, but you can feel free to swap those guys out if you so care for too. And uh, what have you got here? You've got the nightstand, you've got a bed frame, which is great. You also have it in a chest of drawers. So yes, you might not want to get the whole set, but you definitely can play around and find lots of different great choices in the Bjorksnass collection. Again, one name, but several options, but all kind of in that style and all that same wood species. Okay, moving on, you have the Tarva nightstand. So again, this is the pine, I would paint it. But personally, if you love pine, go for it. The Tarva nightstand is great. You know, I don't, again, love the color as much as I love the Bjorksnass, but this would sort of fill the role of solid wood, but oh yes, I can paint it whatever color I want in a nightstand. That's what this box has basically been ticked. So this was a great choice too. The Hemnes bed is a really beautiful, little bit more traditional bed from Ikea. This is made of solid pine, but it is already you often got a lacquered finish on it, so it comes in like this white color, which is great. This one, I find it sells out a lot. Like The Bjorksnass also sells out. So a lot of this stuff was like impossible to get during the pandemic, but this can be a little bit more tricky to find. This is a solid pine bed frame from Ikea. This one is also gonna come pre-lacquered, ready to go. So it's kind of in this really nice, gorgeous, creamy color. Very traditional bed. I think I really sort of see this a lot in sort of this is like the country cozy sort of side of Ikea. That's what this one is. Okay, next up is the Dove Scar. Oh, we're moving to outdoor, by the way, the Dove Scar. Okay, the Dove Scar is a solid eucalyptus wood mixed with galvanized steel. Okay, so this is mostly gonna have a steel frame. So I'm being really like, there's a little bit of wood here, okay? But the wood that is there is solid eucalyptus wood. I think this is a really cool, probably very durable outdoor piece of furniture from Ikea. Ikea tends to use a lot of eucalyptus and acacia in their outdoors just because those are gonna be a lot more durable and appropriate for outdoor use. But this one is obviously gonna be mostly going to be sort of a steel frame, which is also, I think, gonna really add to its longevity. Okay. So speaking of eucalyptus wood, the next one we have is the Cloven. This one is gonna be sort of the Adirondack style or Muskoka, those are similar. And I just realized I said Muskoka chair, but if you're probably not from Canada, you probably don't even know what a Muskoka chair is. Muskoka is, by the way, an area in Ontario. That's why it's called the Muskoka chair. Is that an international thing? Have you guys ever heard of that? Or maybe they are uh, Adirondack chair is what I think a lot of people know it as. But anyway, it's in that style, okay? So let's just go with that. And it's solid, uh, solid eucalyptus as well. So this feels like a really solid, rugged chair. I feel like this is, it's got a stain on it, but I feel like this is a really good value for something that is a beautiful, solid, 
wood chair for out, that is appropriate for outdoor use. That's usually, outdoor furniture is so crazy expensive. And it's usually because it has to be constructed with the right materials that are gonna withstand, you know, and, and, and actually look good in years to come uh, for outdoors, which is really difficult to do. The durability for outdoors can be really challenging and make it really expensive. So uh, this is a great option from Ikea. And finally, we have the Namaro, which is a classic Ikea collection. Now this one is gonna be made of acacia wood. I like this collection, I'll be honest. I think it's a great value because you're getting that solid wood option. It's great outdoors. It's a whole collection that they've had for years and years and years, right? There's just so many different choices here that you can do to piece together. The outdoor sofa set is a modular set, so you can kind of make it fit sort of whatever kind of living room sort of layout you're looking to do outside, which is kind of neat. So it's very modular, very solid. Again, a really good value coming from Ikea. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. This was all, I believe, all or near all of the solid wood options coming from Ikea. I love solid wood because I just think it has the timeless beauty of mother nature while also being affordable because it's Ikea. And so that's what we love about solid wood from Ikea. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link here to my top 10 Ikea items of all time. I'll link that if you enjoy Ikea, you might check out that video because I think you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.